go over everything you have in your kit. You should have your glass. This is your etching cream, your stencil, a foam applicator, some contact paper that we're going to use to transfer this to the glass, and your gloves. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your glass is clean. So remove any labels that you have, and then if you've got some alcohol, go ahead and clean off the outside. And set it aside. So the etching cream is going to show up on the glass everywhere that you see either this uh, berry color or this gray color. So what we want to do is transfer this to the glass, and for that you need your contact paper. So just peel it back. And cover your stencil. Make sure you don't have any bumps. And you want to rub it to make sure that all of the blue vinyl gets stuck to the transfer paper. So everything that's blue should come up with the transfer paper. Okay. So now we want to peel the paper backing off of the stencil. So we should just be left with the blue vinyl. And be careful because there are some spots like this little space here in the E that will want to stay stuck to the paper. So make sure that those are coming up when you pull the paper back. And my end's having some issues there. I'm gonna pull around from the side here. The book looks good. And you can see this part is sticking, so. So that one stubborn little piece of vinyl. There it goes. Okay. So you shouldn't have anything left on this backing. And now this is going to get applied to your glass. Just try to line it up so that it's straight. going to rub. You want the blue vinyl to stick to the glass. Okay, now you're going to peel away this transfer. And you want all the blue to be left behind. And you don't want to touch anything in here, so just keep your hands away from that area. Okay, and now we're ready to start etching. Please make sure to read the um, safety information that I included, everything that's here on this label. Um, you'll want to pay attention to. So you want to do this in an area that is well ventilated. If you can do it outside, that would be best. Um, you don't want it touching your the cream to touch your skin or get anywhere near your eyes. So we are going to put our gloves on.
Okay, so now we've got this ready and we've got our etching cream and I'm going to use this to apply it. Even though I've got gloves on, I don't wanna touch it. There might be holes in the gloves, you never know. So we're just being extra careful. So we just apply it. Pretty thick layer. Make sure that you don't get the etching cream outside of this blue stencil because whatever is on the glass will get etched. So I'm just adding a little bit of time at a time so that I don't have any accidental spots outside of the stencil. And we're almost to the bottom edge here, so just being very careful. So you don't want to do the layer so thick that it's runny, because if you set this glass upright, it could run down. And then it'll etch this area down here. So now I'm just making sure I didn't miss any spots, and I did. Okay, now I'm just taking off some of this extra. I was a little heavy handed with it, so. Okay, so this looks good. So I've had that set aside for a couple of minutes. Now what I'm going to do is run over to the sink and rinse everything off. So my glass has been rinsed off. Notice I'm still wearing my gloves. So now I'm just drying it all. At this point, we don't need to worry about being careful with the stencil because it's already, the glass has already been etched. And once I'm sure, and I've got everything cleaned off. I can take my gloves off. Okay. And now I can start pulling this stencil off. And whatever is left behind should be etched.
Okay, now I've just got little bits there to take off. Dry off the inside so you can see a little bit better. All right, so we are all finished, and this is dishwasher safe. Um, so go ahead and run it through the wash before you use it the first time. If you have any questions, please let me know.